everyone in this video we are going to discuss a very important fallacy or a hate bab has in the logic that is sadharan so if you consider logical reasoning as a module we have western logic as well as indian logic to consider there and in both these areas fallacies is a very important area so as i have already mentioned hate bab has which is the term that we are using for fallacies in indian logic we have various types to consider there and in this session we'll be particularly focusing on an important type of fallacy or hate bab has that is sadharan so in order to understand this concept more in detail we'll be just taking a sample question from nta ugc in december 2022 and we'll be examining that question and through that we'll be considering this fallacy that is sadharan so here you have the question according to classical indian school of logic or nyaya because nyaya school is associated with or it's the school of logic in indian uh, classical indian schools and this according to classical indian school of logic or nyaya school which of the following argument involves the fallacy of sadharan uh, in which we can explain it as the middle term being too wide and we have the options the hill has smoke because it has fire sound is eternal because it is audible the hill has fire because it is knowable all things are non eternal because they are knowable so if you consider this sadharan this is basically a sub type of uh, one of the important type of hedwa bhas or fallacy that is savya bhichar okay so savya bhichar or anekandika is a type of fallacy that we need to study under this uh, fallacies which is a very important topic in that point of view under indian logic okay so we have five different fallacies or five different hedwa bhas to consider and among this five we have an important type that is savya bhichar or anekandika so this particular fallacy is termed or this fallacy occurs uh, because of an irregular middle term so this is a very important idea that you have to focus on so savya bhichar or anekandika is a fallacy or this is a fallacy of the irregular middle term all right and if you consider savya bhichar or anekandika we have three different types of fallacies that comes under this savya bhichar which includes sadharan asadharan and anupasamhari and if you consider sadharan it is happening or this particular fallacy happens because the middle term is too wide where in asadharan it is because the middle term is too narrow and in anupasamhari what happens the middle term is non exclusive so from this we have to identify or we have to understand the reason we can call savya bhichar as a fallacy of the irregular middle term that is a very important idea that you have to consider because uh, you will will be getting questions in that perspective as well we have let's say if we have asida for example it's another fallacy and that fallacy happens because the because of an unproved middle term so likewise if we have to identify we have to understand the various of uh, fallacies according to the reason why that particular happens so in that respect we can say that savya bhichar or anekandika is a fallacy that happens due to an irregular middle term and under this particular hedwa bhas or fallacy we have different types to consider we have sadharan asadharan and anupasamhari so in sadharan what what is the reason behind this fallacy it happens because the middle term is too wide whereas in asadharan it happens because the middle term here is what happens it's too narrow and considering anupasamhari what happens here the middle term here is non exclusive so in this session we'll be particularly focusing on the sadharan we'll be not going to going into the details of asadharan and anupasamhari we'll be concentrating on sadharan and we'll be just picking out some examples in order to understand it as well so just move to what do you mean by sadharan okay
it as sadharan as we have already mentioned here the middle term is too wide and what is the fallacy what is the error that happens or at, that actually leads to this kinds of a fallacy it is present in both the sapaksha or the middle term here is present in both the sapaksha which is positive instances and as well as the negative instances and it violates the rule that the middle term should not be present in the negative instances so the problem here is the middle term here is too wide that means the middle term is present in both positive as well as negative ins instances so we have a rule that that says that the middle term should not be present in the negative instances the middle term should be present in positive instances and it should be absent in the negative instances so that is the idea that we discuss when it comes to uh, the the validity or if we consider the characteristics of a valid middle term but here what happens is the middle term is present in both positive as well as negative instances and thereby it violates the rule that the middle term should not be present in the negative instances so i know now it becomes more conf confusing for you so let's take an example maybe a few examples and we'll be trying to understand this concept in more detail so let's just consider the example that is given here if you have an argument like this the hill has fire because it is noble so if you consider this argument we have various terms associated with it so the hill here is the minor term fire is a major term and noble is basically the middle term middle term is a reason the reason why you are establishing a point or you are establishing an argument so here it says that the fire the hill has fire because why you are saying the hill has fire because it is noble so that's how we uh, we can understand that this is the reason why we are establishing the argument that the hill has fire so that reason can be called as hedu and that is basically the middle term in a particular argument so what is the problem here when we consider sadharan as a fallacy we said that what is the problem there the middle term is too wide it is present in both the positive as well as the negative instances that means here the term noble can be present in both fiery as well as non fiery objects so noble means we know something so we know things that are fiery as well as non fiery so this noble is not a reason that can be associated only with this fire so there are other thing also which are not fiery and that also can be not so in that respect what is the problem here here the noble is a term that can be present or that can be associated with both positive as well as negative instances so it can be associated or it can be present in both fiery and non fiery objects so just take another example so if you consider a proper argument like this all bipeds are rational swans are bipeds therefore swans are rational so bipeds means animals that are walking in two legs okay so if you consider this particular argument that is there it it says that all bipeds are rational swans are bipeds therefore swans are rational so considering the various terms that are associated with this particular argument therefore swans are rational is the conclusion so these are two different statements and through this statement so this proposition these are the premises from which we are coming up with a conclusion that is therefore swans are rational so in that respect the subject of the conclusion can be called as a minor term the predicate of the conclusion can be called as the major term so if you consider this two premises which actually led to this conclusion we have a term that is common in both this premises that is bipeds so this bipeds is a term that is common in both the premises and that is absent in the conclusion and this bipeds can be called as or, or in other words we can say it as this bipeds is the, the the word that links this two premises and that is what leads you to a conclusion in that respect bipeds can be called as the hetu or middle term of this particular argument so now you got the structure now consider this particular argument in the light of sadharan or whether this argument is having a fallacy which can be termed as sadharan that is our question so here the middle term is biped we have already recognized that the middle term in this example may be related to both rational as well as non rational creatures it says that all bipeds are rational that is your first statement and we said that swans are bipeds but what is the problem bipeds is a category which includes both rational as well as non rational creatures because we human beings are bipeds and we are rational and there are other creatures as well which which might be bipeds but which cannot be considered as rational 
as human beings, right? So in that respect, what is the problem here? Here we have a middle term that is bifurs and that bifurs can be present in both positive and negative instances. Or in other words, in this example, it is an example or it is a term that can be associated with both rational and also non-rational creatures. So both present in positive as well as negative instances. So this is the idea. All right. So if that's the case, consider the question again. According to classical Indian school of logic and Nyaya, which of the following argument involves the fallacy of Sadharan, that is the middle term being too wide? Consider the examples. The hill has smoke because it has fire. Sound is eternal because it is audible. The hill has fire because it is noble. All things are non-eternal because they are noble. So here from what we have discussed we can say that the right answer for this question is option c the hill has fire because it is noble that is the uh, argument which is having which is basically it involves the fallacy of satharan and if you consider the other options we have sound is eternal because it is audible that is basically a fallacy that can be termed as Asadharan that we have already discussed and all things are not eternal because they are novel is basically Anupasambhari. So we are not going into the, those details in this session. Anyway, we will be, uh, we just focused on an important fallacy that is Sadharan and the right answer, the right option that you can associate with the question is option C that is the hill has fire because it is novel. So the right answer is option C. So as I have already mentioned, Hedvabhas or fallacy is an important area that you have to consider and the uh, interlogic which is a part of logical reasoning. So make sure that you are focusing on all the important fallacies both in Indian logic as well as Western logic for your next net attempt. And this is how you have to focus on what to study. You have to analyze the previous year question papers and understand what are the major areas that we need to focus and how we have to approach it. So for example, if you consider Hedva Bhas, if you can just consider a few examples that can actually associate with each of these fallacies. One thing is, it will actually help you to understand the concept more clearly. And also, you can expect those uh, examples being used in the exams as well. Okay, so this is how you have to consider or you have to answer the question what to study and how to study. So if you need that kind of very structured guidance or that kind of an approach, approach to your net preparation, you can consider Appleby Academy's courses. We have classroom as well as online courses available. So to know more about our courses, you can just contact the number that is given in the description box. So thanks for watching and happy learning.